Mickey, this has uh, been an interesting journey for you, to say the least. Uh, now that it's behind you, talk about the feeling and the emotion, how you're feeling at this moment. I feel great, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a long time coming. Um, man, the past three weeks dragged. Like, you know, it was, it was six months I, I knew this fight was going to happen. You know what I mean? So I'm happy to be through it. Uh, I'm, I'm so, super grateful for the opportunity, and I'm ready for, you know, the UFC killers now. That's what I want. I want war with the best guys in the world. You certainly seem to have supreme confidence all the way along, but there was this kind of, I don't know, a fear of the unknown, I guess, with CM Punk, but what, what if he was a killer behind closed doors and you just didn't know about it? I mean, was there ever any moment along this time where you had a little bit of doubt to think, you know, maybe this, maybe this guy is going to turn out to be way more than I thought? Yeah, it, there was a possibility. It could have been all that training. He's, an act, he's a phenomenal actor. It could have been acting. Um... You know, I knew my my kill stuff was going to be more than his kill stuff. I know two-year guys. I know, you know, I I, I, I beat up 10-year guys. Been doing it since I was, you know, a teenager. Uh, so I, I knew, you know, I, I knew what to expect. I knew I'd be able to dominate in any... I wanted to, to work my stand-up. I, re I really focused on my stand-up. I wanted to show that off. I was working with uh, Sean Diggs, uh, but he came in hot, so I just changed levels and put him on his back. You talked about wanting to fight the killers of the UFC. You called out Sage Northcutt. Yeah. People seem to be divided on whether he is one of those killers. Do you think he is one of those killers of the UFC, and why was that the target? What's his UFC record? Do you know? Anyone know? It's a good record. Uh, yeah, he's a tough kid. I think, I, just, I think that fight makes sense in a lot of ways, especially right now. Both Dana White looking for a fight, guys, young guns. Um, both of us have questions about us. So, let's bang out. Let's do it. Mickey, uh, over here to your left. Um, <laughs> I know uh, in the lead-up to the fight, you were very respectful. I am kind of curious, what was your reaction when you put out your hand yesterday and, and he refused to shake it at the weigh-ins? Um, well, uh, it's funny. I just, my sister just told me that he said I was stuttering um, <laughs> when I was talking to him. I'll tell you exactly what I said. I said... When he didn't shake my hand and he was giving me that hard look, I said, you're an actor. You're still acting. You, I said, we're fighting tomorrow. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to hurt you. And then he kept staring at me as I walked up. I said, keep looking at me. Uh, that, that's all. Uh, uh, you know, it's, I think it shows that he's not, he's not, he's still not a fighter to, to, to the degree that the other guys are. Guys who've been through it, guys who've really blood, sweat, and tears... You're going to shake your guy's hand, and you're going to give him respect because you know he's been through the same stuff. It's like a brotherhood. You're going to go in there and try and kill each other, but you, you, get, you, have, you have that baseline respect. You know what I mean? So I, I, it's, it, it'll, he'll get that. It's, it's a maturing process. You know, He's a two-year guy. He'll, he'll learn. Hey Mickey, this is probably oh, this is probably a hey, tough <laughs> this is probably a tough question for you to answer, but I'm gonna ask it anyways. Uh, you know, you you go with a lot of UFC caliber guys, and you said you know even if you didn't get here now, you would have been in the UFC eventually. Do you think CM Punk should fight again, or I mean, how's you how do you feel in the UFC? Because you know you did get here, and and it was a pretty one sided fight. Just rolling with him in those two minutes. Do you think he should take another fight in the UFC, or do you think it's probably in his best interest not to? I think he should take some time. Uh, I think there's still money to be made on him he's still a big superstar um so I, I think he will have another ufc fight a lot of guys are like ah, he doesn't belong here you know people privilege doesn't uh rub people uh, in a good way um but i think he he's kind of earned that privilege by being obviously a talented guy and something else um i think he'll probably have another fight i think you should really focus in train for a little bit, but yeah, you know, get get a chance of retribution. And on the flip side for you, you know, you came in with obviously all this attention, you know, being CM Punk's first opponent. Um, where do you go from here in terms of that? I mean, obviously you want Sage Northcutt, you want to stay in the UFC, but I mean, there is going to, the, the pressure now kind of mounts on you to, you know, duplicate this kind of performance. Do you enjoy that? Do you look forward to that? I love that. This, this is what I want to do, man. Since I was 16, every decision I made in my life was towards being here. Um, you know, I saw the path when I found out Dana White was going to be at my first fight. I'm a thinker. Uh, you know, I, I, I saw the path, and that this is where I want to be. I want war with the best guys in the world. I want to climb. I want to be a UFC champion.
Mickey, just a little off topic. Did you watch the main event, and what did you think about that that first round? I did watch the main event. Um, it, it was it, it was crazy. They both dropped each other. Um, I I've, I've really uh, I, I'm a, I'm I've, on a personal level, I've become a huge fan of uh, Overeem. He's 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 been a great guy to me all week, giving me some good advice. Um, so I, you know, I was disappointed to see him lose, but, and that, that's a guy who I, you know, I've watched for forever and and I've admired. Uh, I think he's you know still one of the best. He's definitely one of the best, maybe the best striker, technically in the UFC. Um, so yeah, you know, I thought it was a great fight. I, I watched that because I missed. Uh, I was doing like I was talking, doing like interviews and stuff for, for the co-main. So I needed to make sure I watched that one. I was really excited for that. It was crazy. Yes, uh, you're from New Jersey. UFC 205 is coming up. Is that on your radar at all? Yeah, <laughs> I meant to say that. Well, here's your chance. I wanted to say, yeah, I want to fight in the Garden, man. I'm a Jersey boy. That's my backyard. I want to fight at UFC 205 in the Garden against Super Sage Northcutt. And uh, from the very beginning, you took him down and you kind of controlled him. Was that always the plan? No. I, I really want to show my striking. My striking... You wouldn't even recognize my striking compared to my last fight. I'd piece that dude up, uh, me, you know, back in February. So I really want to show that off. Um, and, you know, he just came in hot. He came in too hot. He came in too aggressive. So I just let my training take over and knew I'd, I'd, I knew I'd beat him in e either spot. I knew it'd be better. So I just took him down. Yeah, man. My pleasure. Mickey, do you have like a, a real strong sense of like accomplishment after tonight, or is this kind of like something that you knew you could beat this guy? You never really, I mean, you never really know what he's bringing to the octagon, but you're like, I'm going to beat this guy. Obviously, I'm going to gain a whole lot from it. But as a as a fighter, do you feel like a really high sense of accomplishment based on on you know this whole punk thing? Um, it's a good question. Uh, yes and no. Uh, there, you know. This this fight was different. This I I, I was fighting, and I, I don't want to be disparaging, but I, I was fighting, you know, an, an amateur. I, I want I I you know and I you know so yeah I want I, I need to, I still I a hundred percent need to prove myself still. I, that's why you know I I want to I'm excited to get going now. Now the real now the real work, now the real fights, the real you know it's every fight's a fight. Um, he's trained in at Rufus Sport, great place. I, I do feel a sense of accomplishment, sure. Uh, I came in there, I, I loved it, I loved seeing the crowd, all that stuff. But yeah, it's it's not like, I, I don't feel like I beat, you know, uh, a great fighter. I beat a fighter, not a great fighter. And did that have anything to do with kind of what, the message that you wanted to get across after the fight? Because it did seem like your tone maybe changed just a little bit, that you were a little bit more defensive, the same, like, I am here. Like, do you feel that, that kind of people there's a there's a, a a threat of potentially people kind of forgetting about you now that this punk thing is in. No, no, not people know who I am because of this punk fight now. You know, I, right? I'm fighting on the main card, UFC two or three. Everyone, everyone wants to see him. I'm the guy who kicked his ass. So you know, I I don't think people are gonna forget about me. Uh, I think I fight Sage next. I'm gonna beat him up, and then they're gonna know me more. And I'm gonna beat up the next guy and the next guy. I, you know, I, the only reason I wanted to fight CM Punk, the guy who's I said is not a, you know, he's he's a rudimentary fighter. He's early in his career. I, uh, I said that just to get here. This is where I want to be. I want to be in the UFC. Now I get going with the UFC killers. I can prove myself. I do want to prove myself. Yeah, hell yeah. Yep. Over here, Mickey. Yeah. Uh, we asked Punk about it. You guys had a long embrace kind of afterwards. He came to you. We saw him uh, talking in your ear. Uh, he told us what he said, but I'm curious from your perspective uh, what you thought. He said, o always feel you belong. I, I I was pretty vocal about feeling like I didn't belong on the, I was checking if it was behind me, on the UFC poster. Uh, Uriah Faber and Jimmy Rivera fought before me. Those are two veterans. You know, I'm, a, I'm an MMA purist, man. I'm, I've been a fan forever. Uh, I, I respect the, the veterans in the game, and I think they're more deserving of the spot. Between me and Punk before tonight, we had to combine two fights. I was 2-0, he was 0-0. It's kind of weird, of a weird thing, uh, but he he was saying you know you, you belong always believe you belong and uh, you know it was a motivational positive message. It was yeah, nice of him. Uh, Mickey, beforehand you uh, Mickey, beforehand you uh, spoke about how Faber and Rivera were uh, before you guys and that you didn't belong on the main card on the poster and all that. 
after the fight with Punk, how do you, or where do you feel like you belong on the card? Um, I guess it'll depend on who I fight. I think I fight Super Saiyan Northcutt. That could be a main card fight. That's what I, I'd like to stay on the main card now. I got a little taste of it, and I really like it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it'll depend. That's not for me to say. Who's to say what anyone deserves or belongs or what? I, I just, you know, I'm here. I want war. I want fight. I want to get after it. Thank you. My pleasure.